shoot. What is good, Greg Gang? We're out here today at the Underground Bunker. Now, you guys know all about the Underground Bunker, and if you don't, you need to watch this series right here. This is when we built it from the ground up, or in the bunker's case, the ground down, but you get the point. Regardless, we've had the bunker for since when? Spring, and right now it's fall. We've made some progress with it here and there, but in today's video, we're wanting to make some progress on the defensive side. One, we're going to go pick up some guard animals, but we'll tell you a little bit more about them here in a minute, but two... I upgraded my personal defense weapon. Now, anytime I come down to the bunker doing anything with it, I'm going to be sure to have this thing with me. You never know when something might go down, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, the weapon itself is an AK-47, and it's got quite a bit of upgrades on it. It's got a better grip that I can hold on to better. It's got a big old muzzle brake right here so that, you know, it doesn't recoil and the muzzle doesn't rise as much and as you can tell it has an optic here now this is actually a three times optic so i can really reach in there and put a bullet exactly where i want to instead of just telling y'all about it let's just go on back to the range and we'll shoot it a little bit now even though there's a ton of features on this ak and i mean i did a second channel video all about it so this video right here type in kindle gray 2 you should be able to find this video pretty easy but if you want to know everything about the gun go watch that video but for now i'm just going to give y'all like a basic shoot around one of the main things i like about this exact ak is it does have the three times optics so it is kind of zoomed in if i'm at a distance but it's also good for up close and then if for some reason maybe it fails on me that's okay because i pop this thing right here and the whole thing the entire rail should just come off just like that so the whole thing just strips off and then i'm left with standard ak iron sights which should also be pretty accurate Now, so far so good, and then, I mean, I should be able to just put this right back on here. And right now, even though we're only like 20, 30 yards, we should be able to back on up and shoot some at distance. So let's go ahead and do that. I do want to give it a little disclaimer. This sight's not really sighted in that good. I just sighted it in to, basically from here to there, just sighted it in. So it should still be able to do a little bit of things at range, but if I miss a few times, it's because it's not sighted in. It looks like I got two bullets left, so let's go up there and do it. And here's the thing, guys. Check it out. The way I've got this thing slung, I can go from shooting and then pull this tab, and it's back here, and I don't even know it's there. And then if I need to shoot again, just pull this a little bit, and I'm right back at it. And then if I'm getting in the Defender, check this out. I can go from down here, sling it up, and then ride with it just like this. And that way, if for some reason I do need it, I still got it right here, but then also I can drive and do all that good stuff too. Let's head on back to about 100 yards and see if it's sighted in. I don't know. All right, let's see what we got. It's also got a lighted reticle, but I didn't really turn it on the first time. If you want to know about the whole thing, like I was saying, the second channel video is for you. But this is a decently little long shot for this thing to not be sighted in, but I'll see what I can do. I hit it. I didn't hit that one though. And that's all I got. But yeah, that's the AK part of the video. As for the defense animal part of the video, this is going to be the main part of the video, obviously, because everybody has an AK. But not everybody has attack emus. Are you, do you guys know what an emu is? This is some pictures of them. They're like big prehistoric birds, literally as close as we can get to a dinosaur in modern day Earth. Here's a video of one stinking attacking some dude. They get six foot tall, and that's as tall as I am. I'm not five six. I'm, I'm not. I'm not 5'6". Anyways, but yeah, they're going to be brutes. But there's a catch. They're four hours away. We'll see you guys in the morning. It is the next day, guys. It is currently 8 o'clock. I don't know if you can see that, but don't let that fool you, guys. I've been driving since 5.30 this morning. Now, if you're wondering who's with us, we have Ethan and we have Abram. If you don't know who Abram is, you'll see him here in a minute. But Ethan was in charge of getting the cage. That was his assignment. Make sure we have the cages to transport the emus back. Well, he brought a cage, but I'll be honest, guys. I don't know about it. Check that bad boy out. We transporting the second largest bird in the world, standing up to six and a half feet tall, 80 pounds, and he, he, he brung a cage that wouldn't even fit a beagle. That thing's built for a chihuahua. Now, Ethan, Ethan swears that it's gonna work. Now, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna watch. And uh, this is just me, okay? I don't think it's gonna work. Ethan thinks it's gonna work. I don't know, okay? I don't know about it. But yeah, guys, that's what we're dealing with. We still got two and a half more hours of driving, so yeah. Wish us luck. We're gonna need it, boys. We're gonna need it. I think we'll be all right, though. I'm gonna say there's a 50% chance we come back with an emu 
45% chance we come back without an emu, and I'm going to give it a 5% chance we don't come back at all. But, you know what, we'll just have to see how it plays out. We'll see if anything blows up, because you never know. Stuff like that could happen any moment. Ethan's starting to have second thoughts about his dog cage, aren't you? No? No, I just gotta... I just gotta have a good reference point. He's going in Dollar General. Gonna see if they have any options, okay? Yeah, we're gonna go see what they got. Yeah, you may, we may need we may need a few options. I mean, if they got chain link or something, we might be able to wrap it over the bed and kind of make just like a little canopy over it, you know? I told him you brought a you bought you brought a cage. It wouldn't even feed a beagle. Brought two. We're buying the second largest bird on the planet. You brought a Chihuahua cage. Chihuahuas are meaner than that bird, though. Up with. They don't like filming. Really? No. But I did get some good footage of some like you know those giant Tupperware things. Yeah. If anything, we just like get a big Tupperware. Well, they're just, bigger than that. Yeah. I mean, they're they got a look at that thing. Why are you dotting the cages so much for? I don't know about it. <laughs> what are you thinking about the cage situation? Kendall don't he don't trust me. I'm gonna be honest. I don't I don't think. I think we're gonna need a bigger cage. Me tell you something. Did you see them big old Tupperwares in there? <laughs> Did you see them? No. I mean, that was huge. Probably be better off buying like a barrel or a garbage can or something like that. <laughs> a garbage can? Yeah. Dude, that would be a good idea. Like, take the garbage can. We'd be better off strapping them with a rope to the back of the truck. I'll hold them. What about that guy's trailer? <laughs> Somebody brought a cage to get these in. I don't know. We don't know if it'll fit. I don't think they're gonna fit that little kid. I'm gonna fit that either. Nice. So, is that about as big as the male get? Yes. So that one down there, they're both still growing, right? Oh yeah. Oh okay. They're only about six months old. They won't be fully matured until they're 18 months. Mm -hmm. All right, boys, well, as you can see, operation complete. Dude, look at him. He's sticking his head out. It's literally like two big mops in there <laughs> with heads. <laughs> Buddy, we got emus now. I don't I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> I guess we just get them back to your house now. I guess we do. I guess we head on out of here. Let's take them to their new home. Okay guys, we are back at the underground bunker. The emus are officially here, but let me just show you what we got. If you guys are not aware of the area and fencing that we have around the underground bunker, the area starts over here, it goes down the hill, around there, the bunker's right here, it goes on over there, cuts up, and then it comes on down. So they got quite a bit of space, especially for just two emus. As for the fencing, right now we have this. It's like a four foot tall webbed wire fence and then it gets smaller towards the bottom. That should be honestly perfect for these since, you know, they don't really care about electric fence. Maybe eventually, if we decide to keep them in here, we may add like an extra strand or something above here to make it a little bit taller. But anyways, that's where these bad boys are going. Let me grab a tree branch and see if they're hungry. I don't know. Yeah, we'll grab this. Now, I'm no emu expert, but I'm gonna have a feeling they're gonna like this little hill pretty good because there's a lot of things to run on, climb on, and apparently they like to swim, which is really good because there's a little pond down there. Here you go. You want some grass? You want some grass? Here, you want some grass? You can have the grass. You can eat it if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. Here, eat the caterpillar. Come on now. Eat it. I know you want to. What about you? You won't eat it? Not yet? Okay. All right, boys. Here's what we got to do. I can't let them just jump off because that's bad for their knees or joints and something. They got arthritis pretty much. Tendonitis. So I've got to get in there, do the old bear claw thing, and then just let them go. And I got to do that twice because, you know, there's, there's two. Anyways, and fun fact, guys, for you guys who don't know, these are native 
to Australia. The country of Australia actually declared war on them. It was called the Great Emu War because, you know, they were destroying so many crops and all that good stuff. Australia actually lost the war. Here's a piece from Google, okay? I'm serious about this. The problem is not that they couldn't kill them, but that they averaged so many bullets per emu that it was just not cost effective at all. So they surrendered and the emus won. But now this is not full size. I don't know if we told you that or not. These are what? Seven months old or something? And then a full grown is going to be like another year. So they have a lot of growing to do and they'll be as big as that one they had. He was, he was massive. What do you think about KG's emu farm? I think it's a good idea. Can I, I classify cool. myself as a non-profit now? Probably not. Okay. I've never been around an animal this capable of destroying me and still being super nice. She said whenever they get older, you better wear blue jeans because if they want to, they can use their claws and cut your legs straight to your bone. Pretty wicked. As for names, we don't have names yet, so comment below if you want to name them. I'm taking good suggestions only, just saying. Maybe something with Hispanic heritage, I don't know. All right, you ready? Yep. It's go time. I'm breaking them out of jail. I don't know if I'm getting excited or scared, dude. Kind of scary. Oh, shoot. Well, one emu down, and they said they will 100% run into the fence. Hey, get back, old son. Get over it. You better not do that same thing to the next one. I mean, I'll attempt, man. <laughs> I forgot to control his feet, and oh. he indeed did get me. Luckily, he's not full size, because I'd be dead. Come here, emu, emu, emu. Come here, old son. Go. I'm just gonna get you by the feet, both feet, and then come on with me, just like this. Now, set you on the ground like that, and you can get going. You good? Now, there we go. go over there. Go explore some. Well, yours already stuck. <laughs> Go over there. Perfect. Perfect. I already got got. What do you think about that? Man, that's bleeding. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, you probably need to go uh, put something on that. Hey, I'm learning. I'm learning. Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay, just like an emu expert won't be built in a day either. Well, they look pretty happy now. Yeah, they're definitely pretty happy. And I don't think it was with any ill intent. I'm not going to file any charges personally. I'm not even going to report it. I'm, I'm just going to let, let it slide. It's fine. Uh-oh, boys. Looks like they find in the bunker. They're pretty much going to have full reign to the bunker. And if they can figure out how to open the doors, they can go inside if they want to. I won't be upset. But they got that little teeny tiny pond right there. They said that they're actually buoyant. So, like, they float like a duck if they want to. And apparently, they really like swimming. So, that'll be really cool to see. As for how good are they going to be at defending the bunker, they're not even full grown and they already did that to me. Okay. That was a really bad idea. I knew it was a bad idea. Yep. That could have ended pretty badly. Could have. I could have died. Honestly. Could have died right there. If any of you guys are looking into getting emus, grab their feet. Because they're sharp and they move fast. Anyways, let's go get dog food and see if they want to eat. Alright guys, I went in the house, cleaned up my wound, got a little first aid. We're looking good so far, but you know what? If complications arise, I will go to the ER tonight. Anyways, I have them a treat. Mexican tortilla chips. Let's go see how they like it. Yeah, chicky, chicky. Well, well, yeah, moo, 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 moo. Here, eat that. I can't figure them out, dude. I don't know what they're doing. Here, emu, 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 emu. Eat that. Here, emu, 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 emu. Here you go, eat that. Eat it. Eat it, Emu. You may like him. You may you may be Mexican. Okay, they have declined my offer. I guess since they're not going to eat the chips, we can roll into the epic, amazing, one of a kind, Kentucky Emu Montage. Okay guys, so I've been looking at it a little bit more and I'm starting to realize what could have actually happened. So check it out, I'm gonna take off the band-aid. Ooh, ah, ow. Dang son, the band-aid hurts worse than the claw. Anyways, check it out guys, right there is the cut. That's the main cut. He got me with all three toes, but the middle toe seems to be the only one that actually did anything. Well, 
blood any. We'll say that. But anyways, once again, it goes right here. And what you'll notice is that my biggest vein in my arm is right here. It literally like parallels it all the way down. If it would have been one centimeter over on top of that vein, where my skin is even thinner than it is right here. And let's say that maybe he was, I don't know, two months older and had a little bit bigger claws and a little bit sharper. I don't know if you guys are picking up what I'm putting down, but he could have sliced my vein and I don't really know what would have happened in that instance. I know that every time they take blood from that spot, it comes out really easy. So I'd imagine if a big old velociraptor claw came in there and ripped it out, I'd imagine it'd bleed pretty much the same. That could have been bad, dude. Like even if this exact scenario was scooted over a little bit, even as young as he is right now, that could have still been pretty bad because my skin is thinner on top of that vein. Bruh. And just to clarify, that was 100% my fault. No one else's fault but mine. I literally knew how I was supposed to grab them, which is basically grab their body and then make sure I have control of the feet. But guess what? I thought I was gonna go in there and pick it up like a chicken. No, them things have bigger legs than I do. I don't even know where its other foot went. I may be bleeding somewhere else just not know it. Dang, dude, that's crazy. I don't know if I can count this as a near-death experience or not, but if my kids asked, I almost didn't make it. By the way, I don't have kids, but one day, I hope I do. Sorry, kids, but Emu about killed me. It wouldn't take but a little bit, and I wouldn't be standing here today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you wanna watch a video with all my farm animals, click right over here, or if you're interested, in the underground bunker watch this playlist right here for beginning to end